You're watching Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main stories from Paphos. After more than four decades of being closed, the Gato Pyrgos Limnitis Yeshilirmak crossing was opened on Thursday by Cyprus President Dimitris Christofias and Turkish Cypriot leader Devi Seroglu. The two leaders cut a ribbon and released two doves as a symbol of peace and reconciliation between the Greek Cypriot and Turkish Cypriot communities, and both spoke with optimism about hopes for a solution to the Cyprus problem. EU, UN and US officials praised the opening. The opening will enable locals to travel to Nikis here in 90 minutes rather than the four-hour round trip via Limassol. The crossing was closed following intercommunal strife in the 1960s. Cyprus has been divided since the Turkish invasion in 1974. And on the occasion of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Sunflower, the SMS mammogram reminder service, is seeking volunteers to input information from Greek language registration forms in order to help them reach their targets to access EU support for the scheme. The SMS service reminds women when their mammogram is due with the policy that prevention is better than cure. Sunflower also raises awareness about the scheme through corporate talks. Several local companies have benefited from the sessions. For further information, about talks and assisting Sunflower, contact the email on the screen. And this week, major infrastructure works were on the agenda, with local tourism and commerce chiefs pushing the finance minister and the House of Representatives for decisions on the Paphos to Polis Road and other key projects with the aim of starting works in 2011. And the Paphos Aphrodite Opera Company announced that it is examining proposals from companies for the 2011 event. The National Opera of Prague and the Milan Opera are candidates for next year's production in Paphos Harbour. The committee is already making plans for a special event in 2012 to mark the Cyprus EU presidency. An EU parliamentary delegation gave the Oridas Wind Park the stamp of approval on Wednesday following a visit to Cyprus's first wind energy installation. The park, which consists of 41 turbines in its first phase, reached full operation last weekend, generating enough electricity for the needs of Paphos. Operators DK Wind Supply told Lin TV that there are further plans for solar thermal units at the site. And air traffic controllers and CETA employees called off strike action over the use of metal detectors at work. The action was scheduled to take place today and next week. Workers claim that exposure to the metal detectors is a health risk and that under EU law they are entitled to undergo manual checks instead. The government says that it will make a final decision on the matter in coming months. And finally, an event held in Paphos Harbour in support of the Friends Hospice raised thousands of euros for the foundation. The Great Coin Race held in Paphos Harbour netted 6,000 euros for the concern, which relies entirely on donations. The foundation needs 300,000 euros a year to run. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. Join us again on Monday for a fresh update of local news.